Brand.com, where the pros are the pros. Castrating the marks. All right, let's go to Will Washington video. Oh, 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 oh. oh. see, these, the, the, okay, stop for a second. You got to psychoanalyze me. Why, when I see Hollywood or Sap, my, my stomach turns, I kind of get a little giddy with Will Washington. What's going on in my head? I don't think Will Washington has a giant ego. I think when he's saying I did this and I did this, it's not because I'm Will Washington and I'm awesome. It's because he's so happy and excited and being a fanboy. Okay. That I got I got to do this. I got to do that. So it's it's different. You don't you don't think that's him trying to get over? No, no, no. I don't get that impression like I'm awesome. I did all this stuff. I, I think he's bragging. I think he's bragging that he's there being a, a big fanboy and bragging to other fans that I got to meet this guy and talk to this guy and then doing all this. But I don't think he thinks he's hot shit or anything. No. Do you not think he's not trying to look for credibility? I haven't seen that yet. Okay. All right. Not, not the way he, because he's just, he's constantly gushing about things. Yeah. He's not putting, I can, I can, I can, I can get to anybody. I'm three phone calls away right. from getting to Tom Cruise. Right. That's completely different. I think than the way okay. this guy is. Uh, fair enough. Fair so enough. Far, anyway. All right. So this was sent in by Gabe tough. And of course he's on there with Aubrey Edwards and they have Leo rush as their guest. Peel back the curtain a little bit. Uh, just, he needs to make that a t-shirt. Yeah, he says that every <laughs> single time, bro. Yeah. Every single time. Now, you don't think that's boasting that I'm back there and you're I'm back there and you're not? No, he's definitely boasting, but it's not an ego thing. It's a bragging thing. Okay. Okay. All right. That that, that would be like let, let's say I don't know. I, I have a video game that I knew you really wanted. And and it's sold out. And I keep bringing up how I have the this game. Yeah, I'm bragging. I'm not. I don't think I'm awesome or I did anything. I'm just bragging that I have something that you don't have. Okay. All right. What, I think okay. All right. Doing. I'm I'm trying to look at these things subjectively. Okay. Uh, peel back the curtain a little bit. Uh, just as an observer. When uh, so one one of the segments I I produced that uh, ended up being <laughs> for social what. Hold on now. Hold on. He's constantly putting himself over. Right. But it's a bragging thing and it's not an ego thing where I'm I'm so awesome. I think there's a difference. A very fine line. Yeah. I, I, I think. Yeah. I like like Sap wouldn't if, if Sap was this. Yeah. Sap wouldn't be saying it this way. Okay. Sap would just be, he wouldn't be talking about anybody else but himself. Okay. All and right. what a genius he is. And okay. I don't think I'm not getting this from this guy. I think he's just he's bragging that he got to do things, but he's not bragging that he's some super genius or anything. When uh so one of the segments I, I produced that uh when ended up being for social was you with MVP and Shelton. And when I came up to you and told you about this and told you where it was leading. I watched your eyes light up. I when I said mm. this is heading toward you and Shelton, and I could just see it in your face of like, oh, I get to work Shelton Benjamin. Yeah. This is this is going to be something. And like that to me felt amazing. Bro, I, I, just, I got I got I got to tell you something, man. I got it. We 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 got you know you know Jeff. What we need to bring back? Can we bring this back this year? Can we bring this back? Because we're getting towards the end of the year. Can we have a year end awards? This guy. Is the worst storyteller, bro. Every story this dude has is so freaking lame. Yeah. He tries to make a story out of absolutely nothing. The the dude was excited to work with Shelton Benjamin, and this dude is is making a war and peace out of this story, bro. The, the, that's just the thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a bragging because Shelton Benjamin is involved in this. that's I mean, his gimmick, bro. He, he tells these stories and it's like, okay. And it's uh, going to be something. And like that to me felt amazing. It, it just to watch. I can, I can definitely see that in this run, there is, there's a certain excitement about some of the, the names you're getting to work and some of the experiences you're getting to have with guys that again, just for me as a fan, I got to watch growing up and now seeing, 
you Not get to work with these guys and see. He I, I, says that he exposes himself as such a mark. Will stop saying that. Well, stop don't. saying that, bro. Will you listen to yourself? You know, again, Jeff, this is a 37 year old guy. This isn't a 22 year old kid getting high and out of high out of, out of college. This is a 37 year old man. I think when I started with the WWE, I was probably 32. This is a 37-year-old man. Will you listen to yourself? Well, I hope he doesn't start stop talking. To oh, man. Can Bro, do we have a scribal the- clip today? No. Oh, darn it. All right, go ahead, Jeff. I'm sorry. That there's a uh, a sense of how did I get here. Uh, yeah. and, oh, Jeff. And a bit of a... Ex- got to stop this, man. Well, now, 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 but now he's saying this is what you must be feeling, Leo excitement from you that i think is making this an incredible run for you incredible run why don't you just ask him what is this like for you to work with these veterans that have been around for a while but no he's got a gush and fanboy and he's like fanboying for him i was telling coach the story the other day about will washington tell him the telling the story about how Jeff Jarrett explained to Will Washington how Karen Coach was going freaking hysterical. <laughs> going, his, I'm like, bro, he was getting his pants walk, worked off of him and didn't even know what was going on. <laughs>